Eric, Sarah, yeah, if you thought this economy was no place for big dreams, leaders at Virant just aren't on board with that. They say we could all be passengers on corn-powered airplanes soon. The FAA agrees and just gave the company a grant to make jet fuel out of stuff you'd find on the family farm. We have the so-called aha moments at least weekly here. Inside this east side building, founder Randy Corkwright has a company built on ideas. Some of them work and some of them don't. One of them is really taking off, turning biomass into jet fuel for commercial planes and fighter jets. It's not just the FAA that's a believer. The military is looking for a safer fuel than Middle Eastern crude, and they're giving Viren to combine $15 million to make it happen. It gives us visibility in that now people within the U.S. government see this as possible. It gives us money, which is good as well. The two government grants have the company expanding, adding at least 15 workers and looking to build a new plant. Wisconsin is an agricultural state. We are going to provide opportunities for landowners, be it at farmers with corn, being at people in northern Wisconsin that have significant amount of wood. But that takes a, a quite a bit of money. Dan Olszewski heads the UW's Weinert Center for Entrepreneurship. He says local startups like Virant are what's going to cut into an unemployment rate still near a quarter century high. But he says just because you have an idea doesn't mean you've got the money to make it happen. You definitely have a lot of ideas uh, coming out of um, the area. And this, the capital is one where the state has been um, lagging. At Virant, Courtright says they've got the idea and proof it can work. Selling it is all that's left. We're showing, yes, we believe this is going to work. We have data that says it's going to work, and people are willing to finance this to take us to the next step. Virant's leaders say the company will stay in the Midwest, but it might not build that new fuel plant in Madison. We'll have to wait on that. Just amazing, the mm -hmm. stuff they're doing at Virant. And the question is, how do they make this stuff? Well, it's quite a complicated process. Virant takes corn stalks, kernels, and other farm products, and ends up taking out the starches and sugars from those and runs them through a series of machines along with a catalyst, kind of the magic of the whole operation. A chemical reaction happens, and that all turns the mixture into fuel. But I can tell you it's about a million times more complicated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you I'm made sure it sound it simple, yes. though. Very cool. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Theo. You bet.